December of last year, eight months ago is when I first rolled this YZ125 into this garage. And I am happy to announce that this is the final build episode of the YZ125. It has been eight months. I thought it would go a little bit faster. It took a long time. A lot of that was waiting on parts, waiting on money, this and that to get this beautiful build done. But eight months in the making, we are finally at the final YZ build episode. So what we're gonna be doing is putting the plastics on, putting the graphics on, and then we are gonna be taking this thing for its very first track ride. I cannot wait. Now this is not the final video on the YZ. I am actually have something planned. Um, I'm not going to say anything, but what I have planned is really cool. I think it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that. But as far as wrenching on this thing, this is the last video. Let's go ahead, jump in, put these plastics on, put these graphics on, because I cannot wait. I got a super sweet custom set from MotoCal that I designed all by myself here. So let's go ahead and get going. We'll also be using a fast metric kit to secure all these plastics on this bike. I also got something and I think is pretty dang cool playing for the seat cover. So we got something from Guts Racing here and uh, I love it. I think it's really trick. And uh, we will also be covering the seat in this video. We're not keeping that stock Yamaha blue seat on here. I mean, it's classic, but not for this build. It's a weird feeling finally putting plastics on this bike. I've been working on it for so long that it feels like, like it's not done yet, you know? I did in the meantime also, while I was waiting for graphics, uh, MotoCal is, it's not in the States, so they do take a little while to get here, which is which is fine, understandable, I mean, when you're internationally shipping, but as I was waiting, I, uh, I jetted the carb, had to jump down a bunch on the jets, the main, and the, I had to go up on the pilot from a 15 to, I believe, a 20, um, and then I had to jump down on the on the main, or sorry, I had to jump up on the pilot from a 15 to a 20, and then I had to jump down on the main from a 425 to a 415, and that really woke this bike up. It was running real rich before. Oh! Note to self, never take your hand off until it's bolted down. Oh, that was stupid. Only thing left to do is the front number plate, but man. So the, I, I ran UFO white plastics and you could see the air box and the, the white Clark tank aren't really matching, but the graphics will take care of that. No problem, but it's so nice to see graphics on this bike finally. Oh my God, it's been so long. So I put the first graphic on as a test run because graphics have always kind of been my weak point. I won't lie to you. So we did put this on, but we're going to go ahead and throw the shroud out now, now that I got a little bit more practice, just seeing where we're lined up. So let's go ahead and get the shroud on. Let me know what you guys think of these graphics because I absolutely love them. And we went ahead and put all the major sponsors of this build on the fairing. So we're going ahead and I think they're awesome. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put some music in and get focused on this. that's one side done i'll be honest with you i did not mean to put the black border on the rear uh rear number plate but one side done oh man oh it looks good there's a couple things i've noticed like i've got like some like graphics like two degrees off because you know like i said i, I built this on moto cal uh super nice for building graphics very happy with it but like i wish the rear numbers were just tilted just a bit some stuff but oh man look at that 
That is looking great. I am super stoked with the way this bike came out in the graphics. I had a vision for it when I was making them and it, in my opinion, absolutely nailed it. It looks so good. Oh, it's so nice to finally see this build done. There's a couple things like, um, I don't know why I doubled up on the Team Yamaha. Uh, that is something I don't know why I did. And then obviously, like I said, the number plates are a little bit different on both side to side, but oh, this bike is looking so trick. Absolutely in love with it. It looks so good. Now it's time to get that seat cover on. Like I said, I spent eight months building this bike and I wanted to throw this seat on just to show you guys how much of a difference a seat makes. You can see the stock YZ seat on this beautiful build just looks absolutely terrible in my opinion. So I reached out to Guts Racing and they offered to sponsor a seat cover for this build. So Guts Racing offered to sponsor the seat on this build and I am beyond thankful for that. So Guts Racing is an American company and they are 100% American made. So if you guys are looking for a seat cover at the highest quality, go check out Guts Racing for a seat cover. They also offer any seat foam, uh, seat tools, uh, some cool gear and everything in between. So if you need anything seats, check out gutsracing.com to get your seat cover for your build because as you can see, this seat cover is not doing it. Guts also offers a customizable ribbed seat cover. So on this build, I don't wanna show it yet because I don't wanna spoil it, but you can go in there and you can customize all the colors for your seat. So I think that's really, really cool if you're looking to put that final touch on your build. So guys, make sure you go check out Guts Racing if you're in need for anything related to seats. And thank you one more time for Guts Racing for sponsoring the seat on this build. Now let's get this disgusting thing out of here and let's get that beautiful Guts Racing seat cover on. One of the nice things about Guts too is if you have never put a seat cover on before, they actually offer, they put this in all the bags and it is a uh, QR codes for seat cover installation. So if you are looking, if you need help installing your seat cover, uh, you can go scan one of these QR codes and it'll take you to a video for installing the seat cover. Did want to tell you guys a little bit more about Guts. Obviously they are a staple in the motocross community, but uh, another awesome thing is uh, if you're needing any kind of uh, tools for doing a seat cover, they also offer those on their website. So merch, apparel, all that kind of stuff they offer. So if you guys are in need, like I said, of anything seat related, I highly recommend checking out Guts Racing. And once again, thank you guys for helping me out on this build. It is much appreciated. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, man. Dude, what? No way, dude. I'm speechless, dude. Oh, took a little bit of a gamble with the seat cover colors. Nailed it, absolutely nailed it, in my opinion. 
somebody might not like it, but I think that nailed it. It's kind of like red, white, and blue themed. America. Oh, it looks crazy. I didn't know what kind of graphics I was going to go with when I initially did this, but like I am, I am beyond happy with the way it turned out. This is so cool. This gut seat cover is going to go insane. This is very grippy. Just one more time. Oh, I cannot wait to take this thing on a rip now. Like a legit rip. Da, da, da. I wish it wasn't Sunday because I'd be loading this thing up right now. So now that we got all the graphics on and the seat covers, um, yeah, this build has been absolutely a blast. Like I said, it took a while to do, but I think all the waiting was well, well paid off. I am beyond thrilled with it. This is hands down my favorite bike I've ever owned or ever built. This thing is just, it, it oh man, it gets me, uh, it gets me going. We're gonna go ahead and fast forward probably a week because um, I'm thinking next weekend, is when I'm gonna take this to the track. So we're gonna go ahead and cut to that. And well, we're probably gonna cut some B-roll first, but then we're gonna to cut to the track and uh, get this thing on its first rip rip. So.
Do a quick check. Oh man, she's toasted. Up the old front wheel, let's go. I gotta tighten up them bars, boy. Okay, so first rides, uh, working out the kinks for sure. Um, definitely running a little rich, especially in the bottom end. I gotta drop that pilot down a little bit more, but it's kind of hard to road test uh, for everything, you know what I mean? Um, I ended up following out a spark plug, so I had to go run and get a spark plug as well uh, during this whole thing. So I bought three just in case, but got her running pretty good. I'm running 32 to 1 in it, which I think might just be a little bit much. I'm thinking about stepping down to 40 to 1, and then definitely drop down the uh, pilot jet, and then maybe move the needle down one too. But yeah, I'm just uh, taking lunch break, a little sub sandwich, and going to get back out there ripping. The track is absolutely soaked today it's drying up now a little bit but it's been an absolute mutter and uh hold on go to sammy real happy with it so far though suspension feels absolutely phenomenal um bike's handling really well just got some jetting issues to work out after the jetting issues worked out she's gonna be an absolute ripper but i'm letting her eat today uh, as much as i can with the with the uh the weather the way it is it's a beautiful day out just real wet we got a lot of rain here but yeah letting her eat and uh it's been about a year since i've been on a dirt bike so my arm pump is absolutely terrible and i'm getting tired fast but um after a year back it feels absolutely phenomenal to be ripping on this on this 125. all right ladies and gents i went ahead and moved the needle clip one down Tighten up the rear chain, looped it up. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the 125 is there. Go do that. Oh, <laughs> 
Let's get to your TV. Where am I at? Okay. Well, guys, that is going to conclude the 2001 YZ125 build. It has been an absolute blast building this bike for the past eight months. And I am super thrilled that today I got to take this thing out and thrash it and rip it around. Um, I am very happy with how it went. I think it went pretty smooth. Uh, like I said before, we had a couple of kinks, but you know, that's what you kind of expect when you're doing something like this. So bike ripped. Um, I didn't rip so much. Uh, like I said, it's been a long time since I've been on a bike, about a year, um, because I haven't had a bike as I've been working on this one, but it felt so good to be back in the dirt and it felt so good to build this bike. I just wanted to thank everyone that's been watching since day one, or if you jumped to this build while I was midway through or wherever you jumped in, I just want to say thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel. I also want to give a huge thank you to all the sponsors for this build. Without your support and the sponsor's support, this build would have been nearly impossible to do. So thank you to everyone that's been watching. Thank you to everyone that subscribed and liked the videos and uh, kept me going on this thing because uh, it took a while and I didn't ever lose motivation on it, but it was kind of like, all right, I'm kind of ready to get this thing done, mainly just because I was excited to rip the thing. But yeah, this is not the last you guys will see of the 125. It'll definitely be on this channel a whole bunch. But as far as building it, this is the final episode. Like, I got something planned for it. So I got one more YZ thing planned, so stay tuned. I'm not gonna spoil it, but uh, that should be hopefully here pretty soon. Um, it's gonna entail taking this thing out one more time. So thank you guys very much for watching, and this is gonna conclude the 2001 YZ125 build. <sighs> it's been a long time in the making, and it's finally here. Oh, I love that bike.